Hello friends and welcome again to another AFK Journey video. So, Stomper, he's here, he's annoying and he's disgusting when you get him to epic uh, stage and now we're gonna go and fight him. And trust me, I couldn't get more than the 21%. I tried every lineup, every single strategy as free to play with my account with my characters and I'll be showing you. I'll buy purchases and we're gonna go and try to defeat him. So, here we go. This is the most optimal lineup that I have could never like like there is never i tried coco i tried corin i tried the, the vala i tried everybody this is the best lineup that i can go with now if you have a kruger you at mythic plus he will be choice. more better here he will be much better than uh what's his name thorin thorin is great because he dies twice and he allows me to tank a little bit of hits and not let my other units get hit actually because the boss is really mean in this stage especially with my levels i have 270 i think on one character and i have 260 on the others and why i'm putting 270 on my cc because i want her to tank a little bit more this is why i'm not using it on od so let me put it on od and just show you how the run goes if we use kruger because it's really difficult for you to survive if you're using Kruger. So here we go, OD. Ah, we can use CC and OD. I forgot that I leveled up another character. So here we go. So I'm using the Enlightening spell because I'm using uh, Rainier. And Rainier will teleport my OD to the front. But if he's in the back line and he's the one that's having the buff of the Enlightenment, he will not be control effect uh, uh, targeted by anything, even with my allies. So I can't transfer him and I can't change his position and he can't be silenced or stunned or whatever. So this is why he will stay in the back line and he will be the highest percentage. So highest percentage in HP. So he'll be triggering the boss the most with him uh, throwing that big ball of snow on him and he will not be triggering other units and killing them. So that's the main concept that I'm trying to do with this lineup and it's pretty much working. Now I have Kruger here. I will show you how Kruger he tanks a little bit to a certain extent and it's just, it goes away. He just dies immediately after that because the boss is hitting so much and we don't have the sustainability and the healing that it goes back to back from Smokey because he gets silenced. So let's go and check this out. Now I tried Coco instead of Smokey. At Mythic Plus she works. If she's not Mythic Plus, Smokey is better and he's... Uh, for me, he's Supreme Plus, and she's not at she's Mythic, not Mythic Plus, so she will not benefit me here. And as we see, now we're trying to free our OD, and here we go. Kruger died; just he took a lot of damage, and now he's killing my Smoky until Cecilia drops the Golem. Now everything went into shambles. Like I can't deal, and we're, we're still at 10%. We can't go to 20%. Plus, we were gonna get uh, frozen again with our OD, and Cecilia will take the aggro, and Rainier will take the aggro, and everybody dies. And we're still in the box. This will get you 10%, 100%. But uh, when I'm using Thorin, Thorin survives a little bit and he will tank again because he has two lives. If you have if you have him at Mythic Plus, he will have three lives actually. And this will help you a little bit more. Now, let's go and check out with, Th with Thorin how much we get. Now, of course here we're getting the be best bonuses, which is 19%. If we drop Thorin instead of uh, Kruger, which is Thorin, I have him at Mythic, not Mythic Plus. We're gonna get 15%, I think. Yeah, 15%, which is still relevantly high. Now, if I use anything else instead of this uh, skill, my Odi will tank and he will die the first one because he will be part of the boss. Now, if we use Thorin, as you see, Thorin is taking damage. He gets the seasonal buff, he gets small shield. And then after that, he will cast his ultimate and we're gonna get trapped by, uh, by our Odi. And uh, we're gonna go and uh, free him. And uh, uh, Thorin will be taking the attacks from the boss. Hopefully, he can survive a little bit here. And he did survive, everybody survived. Uh, before he died and he will die in front of the boss I think unless uh, Smokey heals us he did die but Smokey will heal and we will get the buffs again and now we're our tank is still alive we have our uh, Mr. Carlisle and he died sometimes Mr. Carlisle survives here and he goes back and uh, removes uh, uh, OD from the from the boss uh, capturing and this will give me the highest uh, uh, point or the highest damages Mr. Carlisle will free us and we got freed actually so we're dealing a little bit more damage with our OD, even though that we uh, didn't uh, survive uh, that long. This is with OD. Now, I know that playing, uh, uh, what's her name, uh, uh, Coco, with, with this lineup will be helpful because we're gonna get the buffs, she's gonna survive, she's gonna give us the buffs, but our, our OD will die, immediately will die, so let's play it in a way 
that we're gonna get the buffs from Coco. So we can put Coco here. Because Why Coco? I'm putting her here because she's gonna take the aggro and die, not our Smokey. We need our Smokey to survive the most. Now, I want to put Odie in this position, actually, and we're gonna play another skill. I think this one is really good because it gives you attack, it gives you crit rate, and it gives you HP. But this one gives you attack, crit rate, defense, phys physical uh, defense, and magical defense, so you can survive a little bit more. I think it's the best one, and it will buff our CCS damage. And if if, if you have uh, Coco hitting so hard because she's physical as well, she will hit a little bit more. But I don't know. I feel this one, this setup is not the most optimal one. But I will use it anyway to, just to show you. Now we got. Uh, uh, we got our uh, Coco to uh, Legendary Plus actually, which is absolutely nice because she's gonna get the haste and she's gonna cast her buffs ra relatively faster, not that fast. I, th I don't think from the first rotation we're gonna get it. So let's go and check it out, how this uh, this lineup survived. Plus she's gonna heal our Thorin when he go drops below uh, some 7 HP. He did and she healed him and we didn't get any buffs from her. So we're gonna free uh, Smokey uh, Odie right now and everybody is attacking. So far and our Thorin survived. Wow, that's really good. I didn't think that he would survive until this long. He died now. Mr. Carlisle is there. We got the buffs and we're gonna get the heals from Smokey. Come on Smokey, do that. And Odie is still hitting. This is working better than Rainier. Uh, for me, before uh, my Coco was Legendary Plus, this didn't work this way. It wasn't working this way, to be honest. Okay, so now we drop Mr. Carlisle. Coco is dead. Mr. Carlisle is tanking. Can we get a heal? We got a little bit of heal. We're still dealing good amount of damage relatively. And are we gonna break our score? It was 22% I think or something like that. And yeah, we didn't break our score. So with Rainier we did break our score because OD stayed surviving. Now this run went even better than the one uh, before when, when uh, my... Uh, Coco was at Legendary, she wasn't at Legendary Plus, I just did Random Temple and I got a copy of her, the one that I needed, I didn't buy her from the shop. So this is how we got uh, the highest score actually, or uh, this is why the scores wasn't that high before. So if we do this and we don't use our Smokey and we use Cecilia here as well and we put Rainier, do you think that this lineup will be better because our Coco will a little bit help us and buff us? Let's try it, I didn't try it yet. Maybe this would work. Now, of course, ah, uh, I didn't use... Okay, okay, my bad. Oh, okay, my bad. After this one, we're gonna... So, I, I will be showing you why I'm not... Uh, I'm using the Enlightening spell on uh, uh, Odie. Look at Odie. He's tanking now in front of the boss. And we don't have anything else to help him with. He'll be the tank by by the first death of our uh, 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 Thorin. Which is really bad, actually. And Coco got the buff. And we got here the debuff from Rainier. Everybody is healing because of the life leech, of course. And we're dealing good amount of damage. Mr. Carlon is tanking a little bit and we did die on our body, sadly. We're still dealing good damage because we have CC and she's another carry that is helping us. And now she's trapped. Now we need to save her life, which will be super difficult actually at this point. Because uh, there's no good DPS to help her. And we hit the 20% actually. That's good. That's good. It helps us. Bam. But why lose it using that when you can use the lightning spell and keep Odi in the back line and getting the entire box from our Rainier. So let's go and do that. That was a mistake for me, but it showed you that this is why we're playing the lightning spell when you play this lineup or in this specific position. Now we have, of course, Coco instead of uh, Smokey, and I want to check. I didn't do it when she's at Legendary Plus. Now at Mythic Plus, 100%, she's better than Smokey on this run. There's no doubt of that because of the shields and everything else in the box. Now here we go. Od is in the box. Uh, our Coco, will you heal? Okay, she did heal. Our Thorn is still alive. Here we go, less damage from the boss, and we got Mr. Carlisle, we got the box from Coco, nobody died, even Thorin didn't die, now he did die. Now who's tanking? Uh, Mr. Carlisle until uh, Thorin comes back, and Thorin is back, and now he's gonna die again, another time, please survive, go back, go back. And he did go back, and he died, and now Coco gave us the buffs, and she died, Mr. Carlisle is down here. Uh, can we free Odie? Come on Odie. Yes, Odi is free. Now, Cecilia tanked a little bit because of the Coco buff. 
which is absolutely fantastic. I didn't think that she would uh, tank a little bit more down. And here we go. We did less damage. And I tried it before uh, with her not being at Legendary Plus, And she didn't give me the highest score, actually. I know Coco is a major unit for the runs or the, for the gameplay, especially for bossing for this season. But she's not working on this boss that good because Smokey is just dealing even better because all of the buffs that he gives and he heals you and he can tank a little bit more than her, I think. This is the lineup that worked for me. Hopefully it will work for you. Uh, let me know what lineups you're using. Of course, I still have some copies to do for Marily. I think I need a little bit of copies. So I can play her with a full team with Corin and I will check how, dam how much damage she can offer. I think she's better than Cecilia here. You can play her because if she's at Mythic Plus, she's gonna free your OD even a little bit faster. And yeah, that was it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, I thank you for watching and as always, stay frosty. Peace!